Hey, I'm John Cherefka for the Stanwinson School of Character Arts. Welcome to part one of Epoxy Eyeballs, casting, painting, and finishing. I like epoxy eyeballs because of their clarity, they're very durable, and you don't have to polish them. All of these things are great because they are time savers and every minute counts. First, we're gonna talk about the new molds and plates. Then we're gonna go over all the different materials I'll be using, the resins, the releases, the vacuum chamber, the pressure pot, and the oven. After I weigh this, I have to evacuate it, and then we're gonna pour, and then into the pot. After the eyes are pressurized, they're going to go into the oven for the curing process. Following the curing process, I'm gonna show you a few techniques on painting different styles of eyes using a few different tricks, including an iris printed on photo paper and also a hand-done epoxy buildup for a dead eye. This is a new technique that I've developed and I'm happy to share this process with you. So let's get started. <laughs> 